In Vanuatu, the situation that we have now is that it is consistently ranked as the most or the second most disaster prone country in the world. We did a nationwide study and the average time it took for people to receive assistance after a disaster was four weeks or more. We've already started with cash transfers to assist over 13,000 volcano affected households and they of course didn't have to go through the process of lining up to wait in line to receive a bag of rice and they were able to go shopping right away in their local markets. What we're looking at is setting up in the country office a dashboard that allows us to see the registration of recipients and issue donor money to those recipients via the Semple platform and with the support of Semple. This pilot solution for us in the cash transfer context is a form of voucher. It's powered by blockchain, so it's a quick and efficient payment system to allow people to accelerate their recovery by purchasing directly from local vendors that have been onboarded in their own communities. The Sempo solution is comprised of a digital wallet, tap and go card, and an Android app. We enroll recipients and vendors onto the Sempo dashboard and are able to disperse funds to those recipients. And then the recipients take it to a participating vendor and make a payment simply by tapping on the Android phone that's given to the vendor. One of the challenges we encountered was that we were basically trying to construct this complementary financial ecosystem. And so we realised that we needed something that was decentralised and immutable and that led us very naturally to using blockchain and Ethereum was just a very easy choice for us to make. Without blockchain, when credits are transferred between a recipient to a vendor and then that vendor might go and spend that at another vendor, everything relies on Sempo claiming that the flow of funds is what we say it is, which puts all of the onus on us and it makes it very centralised. If Sempo leaves, the system falls apart. By using blockchain, we can create something that grows organically. It's a system that doesn't rely on Sempo the whole way through to create this thriving ecosystem of vendors and a community. It can really take on a life of its own. I think this is the ideal solution because it involves communities for NGOs like Oxfam, but even for smaller civil society partners, the tech embedded in this system on the blockchain does most of the heavy lifting. It will also reduce the amount of resources that we need to devote to financial transparency, accounting, and also monitoring, because we've got a dashboard where we can see everything happening in real time. With the eVoucher, I believe it's preparedness. While we reinforce the communities like a technology that we can use, so these people will know that there's a system in place that we can use after a cycle. For me being part of this, I, I feel um, it's a great honor, fortunate to be part of this program. And um, I look forward, if uh, there's um, a disaster or something that comes in front, I would like to be part of it because it's something that benefits the community. This is what I used to do, the, the cash transfer. So say, for example, if a customer comes in and get a couple of stuff from my shelf, and then I um, just find out the total amount of all the stuff, and then I just enter it into the smartphone, and then that's when I do the transfer. It makes it easier, instead of the customers going in to um, Port Fila to get the stuff, they just come to the local shop and pay their stuff, yeah. Cash transfers in general give people a lot more dignity in terms of how they recover from natural disasters and using this Ethereum based solution also leverages the inherent benefits of blockchain technology like auditability, reliability and transparency. We use blockchain to record and store data so that when vendors are getting audited by your donor, for example, they're able to pull those records and be assured that the money that they are spending is reaching the people who it's intended for. Recipients don't need to be banked, which is a really critical aspect to being part of a cash transfer program. The fact that you can use this technology in a place like Vanuatu where there's not great internet connectivity or people don't necessarily have smartphones is a huge benefit. We're trying to break the model of traditional disaster assistance. This is all being developed and iterated at the community level, which means that they are actually very well placed now post-disaster to design their own response and participate in that process. For me, the ideal outcome would be that the communities like it. 
in time they're able to decide on their most appropriate needs and not for like any agency or organization to decide that here you are this is what you need but in fact we're giving them the, the, the power the choice the dignity for them to decide of their own needs we can use the stories from the communities that we engage with to be able to talk to our stakeholders and the government our donors that this modality has worked it's very helpful lots of people they're coming to the shop uh, uh, plenty of them they're happy so yeah i can see in their faces <laughs> so i think it's going to be helpful in the future